All right, so we're going to start here. This layer out here is the tunica albuginea. Tunica albuginea is going to go into the testicle and make the septum. Those septums are walls, and so they make the rooms, which are the lobules. And the lobules are full of seminiferous tubule where the sperm gets made. This structure right here is the epididymis. And this is the spermatic cord. If I were examining it, I would cup it, bring my fingers up, and right there is the epididymis. Right here is the spermatic cord. Notice that the spermatic cord has the vas deferens. See the pink tube right there? It's got the pamp and form plexus, which is the capillaries, and then it has lymphatics and nerves in there. All right? Now, this is the corpus cavernosum. There's two of them, one on each side. See them? One on each side. This is the crus, the beginning of the corpus cavernosum. This is the bulb. That is the beginning of the corpus spongiosum, and the corpus spongiosum is wrapped around the urethra. Okay? That little bitty muscle right here is a urogenital diaphragm, so this little bitty piece right there is the membranous urethra, and this is the penile urethra, and right there is the fossa navicularis. This is an uncircumcised male, and that's the corona. Okay? If I come over here, oh, this red muscle going all the way around, see it? That's a dartos muscle. It wrinkles the scrotum. If you look at this muscle that looks like rubber bands, that's the cremaster muscle. That raises the testicles up against the body to get the testes warm. And this layer, sneaking out between the cremaster muscle, is the tunica vaginalis. If I lay this on its side, this is the prostate gland. This is looking at it from the inside, so this is the prostatic urethra. There's the membranous urethra, and here's the penile urethra. Now, see that little structure right there? That's the bulbal urethral gland. It's the one that puts out that, that viscous clear fluid, moistens the gland penis, and changes helps to neutralify the, the pH of the urine in the, in the urethra. Again, if I were to do this and push right here, I'm pushing on the root of the penis. Root of the penis is the bulb and, and, the, and the crus. Okay? When we come over here, this is the testicle with the tunica albuginea. This is the epididymis. This is the spermatic cord, and this is the vas deferens or the ductus deferens. It comes up and goes around behind the urinary bladder, where it's enlarged right there. That's the ampulla of the ductus deferens or the vas deferens. This is the seminal vesicle. The seminal vesicle and the ampulla of the, of the vas deferens empty right here, and this is the ejaculatory duct. And it's going to empty into the prostatic urethra. Then it goes through the membranous, the penile, and out of the urethra. Okay? So we know that this is uh, circumcised, and you see the corona. Look at this one. This one, you can see the prepus coming over the glans penis. See it? So this is the glans penis. This is the prepus. This is uncircumcised.